I'm dripping junket. How y'all doing? Ralph here, Ralphie's Reviews Team Knucklehead. Um, I'm going to review the recoil. Ooh. Recoil style RDA. Um, yeah, good bits of kit. Good bits of kit. Um, my son, Joey Pickles, raved, Dad, Dad, get these in, Dad, Dad, get these in. And I looked at them and thought, you know, whatever. It's not going to change your life. It's another RDA. It's got a slightly different uh, airflow configuration to what we used to. Not that bothered. Um, but I took the plunge. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I did. Thanks, Joey. Thanks, Joey Pickles. Top pick. Yeah. Recall style RDA. They really do it. Lovely deck. Lovely performance. Lovely build. It's absolutely pucker. Looks really nice. 24 mil. And it's got this downdraft style that I'm struggling to get the camera to focus on. You'll see in the close-up, downdraft style airflow, you get two outer sleeves with the RDA. You get one with small holes and one with big holes. So you can fine-tune your experience to suit you. Yeah, I think they, the originals call them Flavor Bro and Cloud Bro. I've tried both, and they both chuck clouds, and they both make flavour. I like the big open airy one, though, because I like a good draw, because I've not got that much lung power, like. So I don't like it too tight. I don't want to be sucking a golf ball through an hose pipe, otherwise I'll just fall over, and there won't be uh, much of a vaping experience, will there? Let me have a quick blast. Well, there you go. That does it. Um, the one thing I will say is, because the, these are angled again you'll see in the close-up if you're in that habit of giving a little blow before you take a draw you're going to hit yourself in the face with uh hot vapor so maybe not remember the early kennedys with the top two holes in the top everyone got on and chucked them on and went oh, and they done themselves in the boat like well that's the same but no biggie and the flavor is fucking on point they really really do Produce the goodies, yeah? It is bob on. It's a winner, winner, chicken dinner. Yeah? It's foggy. Again, got a new camera. Um, I'm hoping the quality don't make me look... Well, don't show me off as being the gargoyle that I fucking am. But it's really foggy in here now. And, and previously, um, on Ralphie's reviews, I'll get really fogged up. And then when I edit it and publish it on YouTube, it don't show that bad. It's all right. So if I'm disappearing in a mist of fog, I apologise. It's the uh, it's a new camera I'm using, and I'll look at some kind of extraction system for for future videos. But it's the first time with this camera, so bear with. Yeah. Anyway, I digress as usual. We'll go in close up. We'll have a look what comes in the box. We'll talk some more. Um, see you in a minute. Yeah. Okay. So the recoil. By Grim Green, an own boy styled RDA. I dare say that is a direct copy of the authentic box, but I wouldn't know because I don't have one. So inside we have usual bag of spares, very comprehensive actually. There's a lot of O rings in there, there's a screw or two, I think there's a couple normally. Anyway, there's a screw, a little screwdriver. You've got your RDA and you've got two out of sleeves. See, this one's got big holes, three mil, three and a half mil air holes. This one's got two and a half mil, two mil air holes. So you can adjust that airflow by changing. If I can get that off. No, I can't. Bear with it. Get this in there. Just ease that off. You've got two O-rings that hold it on nice and solid, as you see. You've got a four-post deck with real screws, slot screws, not Allen keys, so you're not going to round them off. And nice chunky monkey, three mil, three and a half mil post holes. You, also, the positive, the two centre posts, uh, sit, the holes sit a bit lower than the uh, negative one. So, great. Great for when you've got thick wrap coils. 
you can have one lead going down, one lead going up, and they're going to sit lovely. And let's have a look. Where's mine built up? Oh, here's mine built up. Um, not the tidiest of builds for me, because you've got this leg's not as tight as I'd like it. But twenty gauge, four wraps on the female bit. Loads of room, yeah. Loads of room. It's a great deck. You've got that. Bear with. <laughs> You've got your 510 with the gold plated screw and a little bit of uh, logo going on there. Serial number, take it with a pinch of salt. Now, the 510 is not sticking out like fighter pilot's thumbs. That said, I use mine on a hybrid type all the time and it's been fine. But just keep an eye on it, yeah? If in doubt, leave it out. You can't adjust it. If you wind it out, it's just going to loosen this off. Um, I'm hoping the second batch will come with more sticking out, but they might not. That said, like I say, it works really well. And you get these sleeves with the little holes and the bigger holes. So you can have more or less airflow. And the airflow sits quite high. It doesn't sit right low down like we normally see. It sits quite high on the device, but it's angled through. So it's pointing down towards the coil. So when you draw it in, the air forces onto the coil, bite it all and out, out the top. Works really well. I thought it was a bit of a gimmick, but it works, yeah. It's good. It's good stuff. And it's nice and firm on there. The 510, the drip tip, is like a chuff cap. This is a one-piece thing. With this delving overlay, it works really well. Keeps it nice and cool. Um, again, I was a little bit disappointed thinking it would be a bit tight on the draw because we used to... Well, much bigger. Look at this. Look, look at the difference in size. But we used to much bigger things nowadays. But it's good. It works really, really well. And it fits really, really well. You just pull it off, drip your juice in there, pop it back on. Oops. Excuse me, fits really well and then he cocks it up, look. You're good to go. Good to go. It's a really, really lovely little device. 24 millimetres with a 22 mil deck. So there's loads of room, like I showed you. You've got those two different sleeves. So you can run it either tighter or slacker, I guess you'd call it. Yeah. It's just good. It's a lovely bit of kit. There you go. Boom. Job done. Works really well. Vapes really well. I was very, very pleasantly surprised. Um, as with all of the stuff that we're getting nowadays, the finish is spot on. It doesn't smell of oil. It doesn't taste out of the box. It, there's no swarf in there. It's all good and clean and, and everything's as it should be. It's nice and firm. Yeah. Those holes are massive. It's great. Screws are good as well. I thought I'd snap them off, you know, being uh, not authentic. I thought, well, you know, they look a bit like they might break if you tighten them hard down on thick gauge wire, like 20 gauge, like I use. But no, they're, they're fucking good. Good bit of kit. Lovely bit of kit. Super. Sorted. Smashing. Great. Let's pop it back together. Like that. Lovely stuff. We'll go back up top, talk a little bit more. See you in a minute. So there you go. Recoil style RDA. We have another drip. So, top cap. It's alright, you know. You know, it's good in there. There's loads of room. I've got um, about four wrap 20 gauge that I showed you in the close up on mine. No worries. Loads of room for wig. And it holds a decent amount of, of juice. Oh, pain park. If you've not tried it, try it. It's. It's almost taken over from the OG as my all day vape, which is a bold statement because the OG is just like crack. And trust me, I oh know. Yeah. Anyway. I'm often unsure about these fixed airflow, you know, you can't dial it in. Like I say, you get two sleeves. So you can get it about there. Um, but this is fucking spot on. It really is on point. With the wide holes there, I've got... It's more than a Mod Father. More than a Kennedy 2425. But not as much as Sergoon wide open. It's not 
really airy but it's fucking spot on it really is spot on It's a, it's a joy. And this delving keeps it nice and cool, you know. This thing gets quite warm because I've battered a 0.07. I'm doing this a lot of the fog, sorry. I think these, this, today's videos are going to turn out a bit shit, but it's a learning curve with a new camera, so bear with it. Yeah. Um, yeah, I love it. I really, really do. It's great. Thanks, Joey. I'm glad that you recommended them. And... Uh, Hopefully, if you can still see me through the sun that's streaming in and highlighting the fog, you'll see a big smile on my face, look. They're good. They're winner, winner, chicken fucking dinner. You will be on that steam train to Flavortown with a recoil-style 24mm RDA. I'll put a link in. Check it out. Oh, come and join us. Now, we've got a Facebook group, as I mention every now and again, and I, I always put a link in. Wow, guys, you know... The, the knucklehead vape fan, big love everybody. It's took off in a big way. Um, such a great community, no bullshit, no egos. It's not clone dedicated. If you vape and you enjoy a good crack and you want a good community spirit and you want people who are going to support you in your chosen lifestyle, consider joining up, yeah. We do regular giveaways and we have sponsors and we sponsor, obviously. Um, so you get deals on, on juice and hardware and all sorts. Come and check us out. Again, I'll put a link in. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Remember guys, smoking kills, vaping saves lives. Which do you choose? Yeah. Have a good one. Thanks again. And thanks for bearing with me. I know it's been like three weeks since I put a video out, but we all have lives, you know. We all have things that get in the way and stop us doing um, those little bits and bobs like this that, that we enjoy doing. But it's not easy to find the time. Yeah. See you soon. Big love everyone.